number 18. Matthew chapter number 18. Then I'm going to turn over to the book of Acts. I want to preach today. I want to tell you my text before I preach because we've got to establish one thing. Before this word today can bless you, you've got to, you've got to figure this out. Amen. I want to preach. Amen. If I had a thought today, I'd preach on the angels that's among us. The angels that's among us. And I want to ask you something today. Do you believe that every soul in here has an angel of God with them? How many of you believe that? Amen. I do. I believe that. I'm going to prove it to you today. If you never, if you never wondered where it was at, I'm going to prove it to you today by the Word of God. By the Word of God, I'm going to prove it to you. Amen. And, and just, just sit right still, because you could, you will turn over into another book in the Bible. All right. The Bible said in Matthew chapter 18 and verse number 10, the Scripture said, "Take heed." that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, now we're talking about the little ones, God's children, that in heaven there are angels. Now who's he talking about? There are angels. Every one of these little ones has angels. Now say amen if you agree with me. Do that every once in a while just to make me feel better while we're going along. He said there are angels. He said that do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. So I've got an angel right now that's always beholding the face. But individually, Brother Jason, do we? Does Paul got an angel? Does Clyde got an angel? Does David got an angel? Turn with me to the book of Acts. Turn with me to the book of Acts. Let me find out what chapter that it's in. James the Apostle has been killed. Peter was locked up with it. The Bible said that Herod saw that it pleased the Jews out to kill James. The Bible said that after Easter that he was going to kill Peter also. So the Bible said that night, now I'm telling you this to save time in reading the Scriptures, the Bible said that night, amen, that an angel came and in a miraculous way the Bible said they were soldiers had him bound, amen, his hands and his feet in fetters. But an angel came and said, bind your sandals up. You're getting out of here. Mm -hmm. Down the road, a little piece was a little woman. The Bible said that in her house, they was praying for Peter. Boy, they wasn't ganging up, beating up on him. <laughs> amen. They was praying for Peter. They loved the man of God. Here's what the Bible said. Amen. While they was praying, the Bible said in verse number 10, chapter 12, I'm sorry, chapter 12, so Peter got out of jail. He's going down now to where they're having prayer meeting for him. And here's what he did. Verse 13, and as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to hearken named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. Now they knew that he was in jail, and they knew that he was, amen, under great, great watch of these soldiers. The Bible said, amen, that uh, they said, No, she's mad. We're mad. They said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. Amen. Now, is the word of God right or is it right? Amen. Was it written down and recorded for our learning that we may understand mysteries about God? Amen. Why did God put that in there? The Bible said that this woman, when Peter was in jail, they thought that, amen, that it really wasn't Peter. This woman had been to the door. She opened up the door and seen it was Peter. And instead of letting Peter in, 
in her amazement, she was so excited. She was so, amen, uh, uh, I don't know the word to say. She was so miraculously in her mind that this could not be. The Bible said that she shut the door, went back in and said, Peter's at the door. Amen. If I'd have been there, I'd say, why didn't you let him in? Amen. Why didn't you let him in? They, they was a praying. They was calling on God uh, for this great miracle. Uh, but yet, brothers, they didn't have the faith. Amen. If they'd had the faith to believe in it, I bet have said, yep, that's right. We've been praying for Peter. We've been expecting him right now. But why is it, amen, that we have so much trouble? God, after all the things that uh, God, that's a whole nother message tonight, uh, this morning, but I want to talk today about your angel. Amen. I believe every one of you's got one. I know, uh, brother, I, I've really been blessed. I don't call it lucky. I don't call it uh, even fortunate. I just really, I've been blessed several years ago. Amen. When I was a young teenage boy, maybe in my early 20s, uh, God let me see my angel. I have actually laid my eyes upon my angel. I don't doubt that. I brother for a second. I know beyond the shadow of a doubt. Amen. That God let me see my angel right up there. And I, I don't want to take a lot of time with that. But I, I, I need to tell you about him. How when he come walking down that holler. Amen. From here all the way up there across the road. How when he smiled. I'll never forget. Amen. His wide teeth. Amen. How they shined out to me. And I thought my goodness. Amen. What a what a my, what a creature that is. What a man that that is of coming. And, and I just raised my hand up and I said, I, I just said, how you doing, friend? Or he looked at me and he raised his hand up and he said, how you doing, friend? I said, I'm up here talking to the Lord. He looked at me and he said, I know you are. And he said, it's a good day to be a talking to the Lord. And he smiled again. And his teeth was white as snow. And he just kept on walking. Well, I didn't know at that particular time, amen, that what I'd seen. But when I got back down on my knees. Our brother, our Bobby, he's here tonight. Amen. You remember that rock up there where me and you and Zachary paid? Right there, Bobby. Amen. I was on that rock and that man come a running. I walking down through there. And when I got on my knees, our brother, the Spirit of God spoke to me and said, you just entertain an angel unaware. Well, I got up off of my knees and I went running as fast as I can. And that man hadn't even made it out of my sight. I went a running down that road as fast as I can. But I never did. I never did find that angel. I never did. But I know he's with me right now. Amen. The angel of God, our brother, is with you today. I want you to, I want you to, to just think just a minute. Amen. In the word of God, how God has used our brother, the angels down through time. Amen. The Bible said that he used Michael, the angel of God, to fight the battle of the Lord. Amen. Has God ever fought any battles for you? Have you ever fought the battle when it looked like that they was going down for the last time? And it looked like you was not going to prevail. But oh, some way, somehow. Amen. What's them angels are doing? The Bible said in the book of Acts, are not God sending unto you angels which are men or string spirits? What is that? Brother, that kept your head above water. What is that spiritually speaking? I'm going to tell you, you've got an angel. Amen. That's with you this morning. You've got him right now. He's beside you. I think about all of them times. Amen. When you should have wrecked. I think about all them times when you're in trouble. I'm talking about physically now. Amen. All of them times. Brother, when you needed help from God. And you thought, man, if it hadn't been for the Lord. I'm looking back in my life. I hear just a few months ago. I was thinking this morning and I got blessed. Hey, I had Addison in the back of my side by side. And the back of that trunk is about four feet. It pretty good high up in the air. And Addison was in the back. Hey, man, I, I, was, I just reached around there to get a, a cigarette lighter. We was going to burn some brush. And I looked back around and she was gone. And I thought, oh, God, that surely she didn't do it. And I come back around and there she laid. Head right on them rocks and whole floor at that whole bed. That creek bed full of rocks. Amen. And I, I looked at her and I got her. And I said, oh, God. I bet she never cried. I she never whimpered. And now you explain that to me. Amen. Well, I was sitting there this morning. And God said her angel. Amen. Laid down there before. And I just let her fall right on top of that. I praise God. I 
Proverbs uses to run to talk about some instances. Amen. And your children. What is that? Brother, that's them angels that's among us. Brother, this ain't nothing new. Did not the word of God say that God said that he sent his angel in the wilderness. Amen. And lived delivered unto them the lively oracles of God. I thought about Sister Scarlet and about some others in here. Amen. Oh, when I have trouble, how comforting that it is. I brother to go to my wife. I've got a spouse that's saved and loves the Lord. But all of you ain't got that. All of you ain't got family. But you've got an angel in heaven that's always beholden of the face of your father. And you've got somebody there. Bless his holy name. I'm so glad this morning that I know this now. Amen. It explains a lot of things that's happened to me in my life. At times when I've been over on that hill and that tractor started coming off the mountain and got on one side when it got down in the ground hole. hole. And I thought, God, how in the world? Amen. Did I not turn over? I'll tell you how. The angel of the Lord. I can't put the ram them that fear him. Brother, you ought to worship God. That God told enough about you. I to send somebody with you. And you're not alone. I let the Bible say. Amen. When Elijah's servant, I've seen all of the Syrians encamped around them. And the Bible said that he said, Elijah, our last master. He said, they're everywhere. Amen. But no Elijah knew. He had a set of eyes that he could see. And he said, don't be weary. He said, greater are they that's for us than they that be against us. I'm so glad today, amen, that there's more on our side than this world is God. And there's more children of light, more than the children of darkness. And greater is the light than the darkness. And the Bible said, Elijah, I stretched out his hand and said, open up my servant's eyes. And the Bible said what he did, that he saw the angels of God and the chariots of fire. and listen to sing and listen to the scriptures read and uh, I was thinking about this the Bible said amen that there was a rich man he died and he lifted up his eyes in hell but he said when Lazarus died he said the angels came you mean that angel right now that I that in, that's around me right now there's going to come a day that when I die when I leave this walk of life when I leave this walk of life, 
Amen. What is that? A brother that makes them smile when they begin to see the gate open. What is that that lets them see all of that? I believe it's that angel. He said, let me show you something before you get there. The Bible said that the rich man or the poor man Lazarus was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. Oh, blessed be the day of the Lord. That boy, that, that angel that I seen up there in the cook's cove. One day I'm going to take my last breath. One day, amen, my heart's going to stop beating. One day the blood's going to stop pumping. And that angel that God let me see, Brother Walter, he's going to introduce me to that gate that leads into the city. Twelve gates to the city. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know which one that I'm going to get to. I don't know which one I'm going to get to enter in. But thank God it don't matter. They all lead to the same place. Where's that at, preacher? In the midst is the king. Hallelujah. I thank God. Hey, man, I can, I can bore you to death and tell you angels tell you things spiritually that's happened to me and tell you things physically that's happened to me but I look back and there's got to be somebody with me amen there ain't no other explanation there's got to be somebody helping me there's got to be somebody but as I was thinking the other day that angel that was sent by God that's ministered that led me to church that angel that's done so many things and told me when to do good and when to do not how sad it must be for that angel to step back at death for a lost man, a lost woman, boy, or girl, and have to watch hell and death take their soul down to hell. While every his bow and every eyes closed, you come, sir. You would. We're going to do the same ritual that we've done all of our lives. It was done before generations before me. We're going to give an altar call. Somebody today, God's angels has been with you. God's brought you to this world. You're not at any out this morning by chance. You're here because the angel in your life has worked it out for you to hear this message. God has watched over you. God has protected you. Some of you right now, there's things you can't explain. Some of your children should have been hurt. Some of your family should have done been killed and dead. But that angel... That angel has ministered for you. You didn't even know he was there. You thought you was alone, but you've never been alone. God's always been with you. But some of you right now, you're not living for the Lord the way you need to live. Some of you, when they closed the doors on you and you went into surgery, your husband, your wife, your mom, your dad, they weren't there, but there was somebody there. There was another presence there. That blessed angel of God. Some of you don't know the Lord. You're lost. You're not right with God. There's nothing no sadder has to be for an angel that could carry you to heaven. But he has to step back out of the way and let death and hell grab a hold of your soul. I wonder right now, is there somebody here lost while she begins to play? Preacher, I'm not where I need to be with God. Would you pray for me? Is there one right now? Just slip that hand up right back down. Preacher, I'm not a Christian. I'm not where I need to be. Oh, I thought about many of the people in this church that still went on. I thought about Randall's mama and I was reading these scriptures. I thought about them angels that carried them to heaven. I thought about Dave Thomas, how do feel? Amen. They're not stricken with strokes. They're not stricken with cancer no more. That angels landed them safely on the other side. Oh, what a blessing it is. If you're here today and you don't know the Lord, could you just raise your hand and say, Preacher, man, that's me. Would you pray for me? I don't want to leave here lost. Is there one right now? Is there one right now? Is there one right now? Lord, I want to thank you today. Now, I guess to the world, this seems foolish, Lord, but I believe, Lord, that you've watched over me. Oh, God, so, so many times. So many times. So many times. So many times.